Hey guys, Mike here with Rapid Purple. So I wanted to do a quick video specifically targeting everybody with Optimum Online. Um, now, as a kind of quick disclaimer, I don't work with Optimum. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. They don't pay me. It'd be great if they did, but they don't. Um, I have, however, had Optimum, I mean, for more years than I can remember when it was Cablevision. Well before Optimum came into existence. I had Optimum before Verizon Fios came out. I had Optimum when Verizon Fios came and knocked on my door 30 million times in a single summer to try to sell me Fios. And I have Optimum still. I run it in my office. I run it in my house. It's, I mean, me personally, I love it. Now, my dad recently changed um, over to Verizon Fios because, as he said, he just had absolutely no service in his building. Now, there's a reason behind this, and, and, and this seems to be an issue that a lot of people are having. Um, I personally had this myself here at the office. I never had this at the house, um, solely because I never used the um, kind of the factory or the, the, the uh, router that's given to you by Optimum. I always use my own at the house. At the office, when I initially got things going up here and I set things up, I utilized the router that they gave me. Well, I utilized the one before this one, they sent me this one. So here's kind of the story. I at some point realized that I had, I mean, retarded service here at the office. Um, now, I wasn't paying for uh, Turbo 50 or Boost 50 or whatever that plan is that they have. Um, at the time of this story, I'm paying for it now. Um, however, at the time of the story, I was not. Now, what I noticed was that every now and then, I mean, my DNS lookups would be just ridiculously slow. My connections would time out very often. Um, and as far as my wireless service goes, my wireless was just, uh, it was close to not, you know, really being there and in existence. Um, so I called up Optimum and I said, listen, guys, you know, I'm having XYZ as far as issues go. So forth and so on, they did some diagnostics on their end. They, are, they were like, you know what, we're seeing that it's the um, that it's the router that you're using, and it's one that we provided you. We'll come by, we'll swap it out. So they came by, they swapped it out with this um, essentially D-Link unit, um, branded by Optimum, DIR868L. So they came, they swapped it out with this, um, And you know what, I'll say that, I mean, my connection speeds immediately improved. Uh, whether that was just because I was using an extremely outdated router with an extremely outdated um, software on it, as, as, as opposed to swapping to something newer, you know, could have, you know, realistically been it. But anyway, my speeds got a little bit better. My timeouts, my, my wireless, my everything else stayed as crappy as it was. So I called Optum a couple times and Thankfully, thankfully, I reached the one rep, the one rep that in my experience was finally able to explain to me what was going on and you know what, it made perfect sense and I feel like an idiot for not picking it up myself. I am in kind of a half residential, half commercial area. Um, now because of that, I have a lot of small businesses around me, a lot of small businesses use IP cams, for example, that run off wireless networks. Um, a lot of the small businesses around me are utilizing their default optimum provided routers um, and here's kind of where things get a little bit messed up so from factory you can't take this optimum router and make it utilize any other channel than it's by default set on uh, for your wireless now here's kind of the thing with this when you go out there and you get a Foscam, for example, a simple cheap IP camera, or a D-Link IP camera, I mean, or a no-brand IP camera, you went to eBay, you paid a hundred bucks, you got a set of eight and a DVR. All of those are probably going to transmit on channel one or three. So is this thing. So is every single other business person house that has this unit. And now here's the thing now, if you're in an area that's kind of half commercial, half residential, and you have buildings and you have offices and, and, and you have businesses and you have all of this and 75% of this whole area is sitting on two channels, yeah, good luck trying to have normal Wi-Fi speeds or normal connection speeds or not having your things time out 
the same time you pressed enter to go to, you know, rapidpurple.com, 10 people pressed enter to go to google.com. Um, and, and you end up with a very, very, very saturated wireless network. Um, now, notice now my, my direct, I mean, if I connected my computer directly to the uh, router, things were fine, but it's my wireless that was retarded. It's my wireless that kept messing up. And because, as I was explained, my timeouts were timeout because this thing was consistently consistently trying to go between its default channel settings, which are essentially one, three, and seven, I believe I was explained. I could be wrong on that. One and three are definitely in that rotation. It constantly tries to jumble back and forth between them, while it's also trying to serve my landline connections and so forth, and then this thing actually slows down a bit, and I'm sitting there thinking, why is it taking so long for it to figure out where Google.com is supposed to point? So, Simplest fix possible that I did. I went up into my collection of random tech crap that I've accumulated. I pulled out a Linksys WRT150. I flashed it with DDWRT. I plugged it in. Utilizing its built-in tools, I checked to see that everybody was on channel one and three set my thing to channel nine, haven't had a single issue since. Beautiful, I'm loving it. Since then I did upgrade to the Ultra 50 or the Mega 50 or the, 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 the 50 whatever uh, with Optimum and it's great and I'm loving it and it's just because it was more convenient for the office and they gave me a phenomenal deal on it, probably because I've been with them forever. They gave me a great deal on it and I was like, you know what, it's well worth the uh, speed limits. Um, since then it's been a couple months. Um, do I want a new router? Yes. Do I need it right now? Honestly, no. Um, as far as my internal network, everything's run through a gigabit switch, especially since I got that Synology NAS. Um, and well, I, I need it to have a gigabit switch um, for all the other computers and everything uh, that kind of run into there. I wanted everything to have as smooth and as fast of a connection as possible amongst each other. So all that's running through a gigabit switch. And, and you know what? My router's doing just, just fine. Flashed with DDWRT. Um, the last speed test that I did, um, you know, right before starting this video, I got a download speed of 56 megabits a second in my uploads at essentially 19.8 megabits a second. I mean, I'm, I'm fine um, for what I need for, for a small business use, and this is beautiful. I'm great. I love it. Um, so I, I wanted to throw this video out there because I know that a lot of people are having very similar issues and you guys are just in a congested area or, or you live in a building and, and half your building has Optum online and everybody got one of these things. Even if they didn't, chances are they're still running on one of those default channels, whatever they are. Even if you go out and you buy a brand new router, it's going to run on one of those default channels. The difference is that you can change it on every on the router you get, but you can't change it on this thing. Um, more so, well, I asked, I explicitly asked, so I was like, look, I was like, you know, listen, do you guys care if I flash this thing with DDWRT? And like, I'll keep using it, you gave it to me, thank you. You know, if you want, like, I'll give it back, you can obviously flash it back with something else, but do you mind if I flash it with DDWRT and continue to use it that way so I can utilize the one you gave me, but make use of my own custom settings and putting it on different channels and so forth? Um, and apparently, no. Um, Chances are you could probably try it. Um, the tech that I was talking to, and I'm going to take his word on it because he's been right on all this so far, is that this thing is going to brick itself and call it a day. And you know what? Honestly, for what a router costs these days, uh, you could pick it up starting at 45 bucks, 40 bucks. I mean, shop on Newegg, uh, Amazon, they have sales deals. You'll pick it up for cheap. Just grab one of those. Um, and just change your uh, channels that are around you and, and, and see how much better your Wi-Fi reception gets and your Wi-Fi speeds get and so forth. Um, now, this probably applies to tons of other internet service providers out there, not just Optimum. So I'm just using Optimum because that's where my personal experience lies and that's where I'm seeing a lot of my own friends and family kind of have the same issue that I went through and that I solved. So I'm putting it out there like this. Um, Again, anybody at Optum, don't take offense to it. I love you guys. I've been with you for probably more than a decade at this point, if I could count or remember. Um, and I'm obviously not going anywhere. 
and hopefully this helps everybody else out there that's having you know any similar issues or similar headaches with any of this um you know get rid of this thing get it get your own router use an old router um you don't even have to flash it with ddwrt i just kind of did it for fun but that default linksys router already lets me change the channels to something different um, if you don't flash to DWRT and you don't have any built-in tools to use to scan uh, to see what's going on around you as far as channel goes and, and so forth, honestly, just try changing it. Jump onto channel 7, onto channel 8, onto channel 9. Just run speed tests one after the other and just see the difference that you get. And I do truly believe that that should help a lot of you guys fix your issues. Um, and then you won't, well, essentially have to leave Optum for a different service, you know, uh, provider just to have the same problem there. So that's that. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, any issues, anything like that, feel free to shoot me a comment below. I mean, I'm not Optum customer support, but as long as I've been with them, uh, I'm sure I know something. I'll try to help you out the best that I could. Um, and yeah, as always, like the video. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like it, you like it, and you should hit the like button. Subscribe, and we'll see you soon.